Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about a software called Dehancer. This company has reached out to me a couple weeks ago and they asked me if I would like to test out their product, uh, which is an editing plugin that you can add to Photoshop, um, Lightroom or even video editing software such as DaVinci and Premiere Pro and, and so on and so forth. So they reached out to me asking if I would like to try out this new editing software. And of course I said yes. <laughs> um, I looked into it a little bit before I agreed, uh, but there were no strings attached. So they haven't paid me to basically say good things about their software. So my opinions are gonna be as raw and my own opinions about the software and the editing process and the quality of the pictures that you get after the edit. So yes, everything I'm gonna say about the software is my own opinion. Again, I wanna make sure everybody understands I was not paid to say anything about the software. They only offer me like a trial period where I could test out the product and see how I, you know, how I feel about it. So the plugin that I decided to test out was their plugin for Lightroom, mainly because I do edit in Lightroom and I thought that would be my area of expertise. And I thought that would be the area where I can actually have an opinion on. So after looking at the software a little bit, I kind of browse to their options just to see what it's all about. I noticed that the filters that they offer are based on actual films. So I thought it would be a cool idea if I try and take the same pictures with a digital camera and with a film camera and put them to the test. I will try and see if I can get the digital files to look as close to the film ones. So for that, I thought I would send Anka in the woodlands <laughs> to take some pictures. And um, as I'm a self-portrait photographer mainly, but I do other portraits on the side, I thought it would be interesting to do some self-portraits. So here's to Anka in the woodlands. Thank you, Office Anka. Now we are in the woods and I'm uh, probably a little bit underdressed for the woods, but there we go. Um, as I love doing a lot of self-portraits, I thought I will try some self-portraits today um, to test the Dehancer software. So I have two cameras here. One of them is digital. So I have a 5D Mark II and I have an EOS 5 as my film camera. What I also have in my pockets that I can't access right now are two rolls of film. I have a Porsche 400 and I have an HP 5. And I dressed up like this because I'll be doing self self portraits with both cameras. I will be switching the 50 millimeter Canon lens from the digital camera to the EOS 5 five film camera and I will try my best to take the exact same picture with both so that when we hand all the files back to Office Anka and she's going to start editing them um, she will have the sort of same image from both cameras hopefully if everything goes right because with film I'm always a little bit nervous um, but yes I'm at my local woods in a dress as you do and I think I will start shooting a couple of pictures here there's a nice bench there's a lot of like leaves on the ground which probably you can't see in the shot um, and yes I'm talking very fast because it's really cold and I just want to start shooting so I can go home in the warmth and edit with the Hanser so um, yes let's start taking some photos Now, I need to remember to set up the digital camera exactly as I would uh, the film camera. So I will actually start with the Portra 400. So that being said, I'm going to get the camera to manual mode and I will have to change my settings. Test on this just for exposure because I don't like using exposure meters. So time to load up the film which is something some people in the comments told me I shouldn't be doing it while holding the camera. Thank you for the comment and watching the video. Look, I'm doing it while holding the camera again. See? Portra 400 goes in. And then aperture is going to be 1.8 and we have 400 right 
time to take some pictures. I managed to find a self timer because I haven't shot self portraits with this camera before. So testing that out, that seems to be okay. Now time to take some pictures. I'll take the microphone off and I will actually leave it here. Thank goodness for straps. They can hold all of your accessories. Let's take some pictures. And I need to make sure I run and get into position before that timer ends. So let's give that a go. <laughs> I have no idea if that worked, but that's why I'm trying the digital one first. <laughs> So I can review the picture. Okay, that's good. Time to change cameras now. Take the lens off. New versus old. <sighs> Time to run some more. So hope these images will come out otherwise this whole bit of the video is completely useless let's see thank you with Landanka so we're back in my office <laughs> I mean I, I filmed the previous part at the same time so um yeah but now i have the files i have the digital files and i also have the film files which have been kindly developed by the guys at the mini lab <laughs> please do check them out you can send the film to them and then they will help you with either getting digital files back or getting prints for your from your films so do check them out and now i'm gonna jump into lightroom and i will see if i can edit the digital files to look as close to the film ones. Let's have a look. Here are some of the film images that I've selected. And here I have the digital files. So let's start with this image here. So all you have to do, you just go photo, edit in, and then you will select edit in Dehancer Lightroom plugin. Click that, it will ask you if you want to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And then we click edit. And here it is. So on the left hand side here, we have all the different type of presets that we can go through. And then on the right hand side, you have all kinds of adjustments that you can make to the picture to get it looking as you would like. So what I did earlier, I actually played around with the Kodak Portra 400 because that was the film that I used with this particular image. So um, what I have on the left hand side here, if I go to my film and I'm just going to have this picture as a reference. Then I can look at this one and then you can just keep playing around with the settings. It's all based on sort of sliders and stuff. So it's very easy to use. It gives you a lot of control over different aspects. When you're done, all you have to do is click OK. And that, if we go back to my digital files, it's going to create a version with the film simulation have a look so we have the edited version then we have the original so I have thoroughly enjoyed using the Dehancer software and even if I can't get the colors to match perfectly I think it's a cool little software you get to edit the files in a different way and you get to give your photos a different look and um, it's a nice little tool in addition to your Lightroom and Photoshop and whatever else you're using to edit the photos. So I would highly recommend it to give it a try. And if you do, I'll put a link in the description of this video as I do have an affiliate link um, and you can get 10% off your subscription. 
Until next time.